All right, folks. Just want to kind of give you an update on uh, all the crazy things I've been doing here uh, with my entertainment center at the guest room. Um, TV is still hooked up, and you'll notice new toy, the Channel Plus. I was inspired by Probnot's Tech on YouTube. Uh, in fact, he's kind of what started this whole project. Um, he made a 24-7 Simpsons channel. I thought that was a cool idea. Um, and I've been toying with a few things I'll uh, show off. Um, so, this thing is crazy, right? I'm going to turn this volume down here. But yeah, Durabrand TV. Um, so this thing, RF modulator, it accepts two inputs, which right now we've done, well, you'll see, EMN and then the other one, EMN, you know. Um, and then this is connected via cable to the back. I have connected it to this uh, digital converter box into the antenna input. Oh, I didn't like that. <laughs> Tapped it wrong. That's fine. Um, just got to be careful. So then that is connected to the back of the TV. Um, this antenna is actually connected to the channel plus, which means that uh, this digital box is modulating on channel three, which means I can use this universal remote, go to the TV box, as it were, and uh, flip through traditional cable channels. Um, some of which, you know, I mean, this is a pretty bad antenna, so the uh, quality isn't amazing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Now, what I really like about this, as mentioned, is this lets you modulate on two different channels. You set them custom. I've set them to two of my favorite numbers. Um, and that means that if we go up one, channel 14 right now is EMN. Uh, that is our own custom channel that uh, we've been working on. Plays all kinds of stuff that we love dearly. And the cool thing about this is it's all powered through this Pi and this hard drive. Now the cool thing about this, uh, as I've kind of uh, posted a little bit about, is we've managed to make it so that it has a network logo right there. Um, and that's pretty darn cool. The second input is just... Um, a Roku right now but we'd like to get another Pi and um, you know do something there uh, one thing that I am noticing now this doesn't I don't think this is a problem with the channel plus there's a lot of noise you can see there's a little bit of static especially on the Roku um, I'd, I've, I've tried it with a few different like channels um, just to see you know what the issue is um, I don't know. Uh, I think it's actually this box because if we connect the channel plus directly to the TV, pictures clear as day, absolutely gorgeous. And I'm sure that if I were to connect, you know, the cable to, you know, something like a smarter TV, it'd be fine. Um, you know, or, or even connect, instead of connecting this to this connect this directly to the tv and you know or even split it off into a into another tv it should be again fine but this really isn't so bad um it's just very very cool that we can kind of flip around like this um uh and uh yeah that's that's pretty exciting to me um so plans now would be to um well, I'm not sure yet. I'll uh, I'll have a look and I'll I'll decide eventually. Um, but right now, um, plans are to work on EMN a little more, get the second unit, and uh, see what uh, we can do there. Um, I'd love to um, more than anything um, have it. Right now, the big thing is to go between shows and channels. Right now, everything on that hard drive just plays randomly. Um, and it's great. It's pretty amazing. I love that, you know, there's no loading or titles or timestamps in this. It's very much like a TV channel. In fact, I'll splice a little bit of a uh, thing at the end so you can see that. Um, but, 
yeah, eventually, uh, you know, I'd like to have it have bumpers and commercials that play on a regular basis. I don't know how to do that with Python. I, I don't know how to do that at all. This uses Libre, Lec, and Cody. Very simple script because uh, it's a pain in the butt when uh, things don't scrape. So, yeah, I'll uh, figure out the noise issue, and uh, uh, that's all I got to say about that. Thank you. Something interesting I am noticing regarding the noise, by the way, uh, this is just kind of to show you the uh, seamless transition. Uh, it doesn't really appear uh, on a full black screen. I think it would be most noticeable there, so I'm not sure what that is. I'm probably going to eventually just connect the cable box to the modulator and connect the channel plus directly to the back of the TV again. Um, but, you know, like I say, I'm just happy it works great. So, yep, yeah, Monk's over. What do we got next? Oh, music video. Anyway, uh, yeah, see ya.